One of the best parts of an online class is that you have a lot of flexibility when and where you complete your assignments. But with this great freedom comes great responsibility. A few basic time management skills can go a long way in making your online experience a successful one. First, just like you wouldn't wait to attend class until the exam day, don't just log on when you have a deadline. In both instances, absentee students often miss out on vital content and extra help. A good rule of thumb is to log into the course website two times as often as you have deadlines. For example, if you have one posting deadline a week, check in two or three times uh, per week to review any instructor announcements, grades, feedback on your assignments, or discussion boards. Additionally, just like a traditional class has a set time each week to meet, your online class work time should also be scheduled. It's easiest to remember if the time is the same every week, and you can even add the event to a calendar or set an alert on your phone. I took an online class once with deadlines on Fridays at midnight. Some of the students in the class waited until the last hour to post, but I never understood that. I wouldn't want to take a class on Friday at 9 p.m., so why would you schedule online coursework at that time? For me, I found that Thursday nights before dinner worked best. I really liked having a little bit of my evening to myself and waking up on Friday mornings knowing that I didn't have to cram a discussion board post in before I could start my weekend. Give yourself plenty of time to complete the assignments at least 24 hours before the official deadline. This is in case you have any sort of technical difficulties like a lost internet connection or you want to clarify with the professor by sending them an email. Finally, just like a pile of all of your class notes, worksheets, and returned assignments isn't the most efficient way to organize classwork in the traditional setting, saving all of your material on the desktop as English 1 isn't going to help you access the materials that you need either. The course website designed by the professor will give you some structure, but you should keep your own records as well. This might include a paper notebook or a journal for you to write down ideas on first drafts. Uh, it might also be a set of folders on your computer for things like essay one resources or notes on the chapter readings. If you're a more tech-savvy student, some of the softwares, programs, and apps can help you organize your drafts, handouts, and feedback, uh, even across devices like a phone, a tablet, and a computer. I'm personally fond of Evernote because of that syncing capability. The bottom line is, don't try to reinvent your study habits and learning strategies just because the course is online. Build off the basics that you've been practicing as a student for years and enjoy some of your newfound freedoms and responsibilities of online courses.